Uh, welcome to our channel. In this lesson, I want us to do a chemistry practical that involves a test for cations and anions. This is a question that is usually tested in uh, KCSE chemistry practical, and it usually forms a question two. And it carries about uh, 12 marks, which is equal, equivalent to uh, 12%. So here we have some students who will be doing the practical for us. So we will be analyzing uh, solid N. So that is solid N. We don't know what it is. It is a certain salt containing a cation and an ion. Now we will be using the following reagents to analyze that solid N. So number one, you have sodium hydroxide, which is a major reagent to test for cations and anions. Number two, we have uh, ammonia solution. So we have ammonia solution there. Now number three, we'll be using potassium iodide. Number four, we'll be using barium nitrate. That is acidified barium nitrate. Then finally, we'll be using a nitric acid. Now, other than that, we'll be using distilled water as a preliminary test. So that is a wash bottle containing distilled water. Now, we have a rack that contains uh, at least four test tubes. So we have this rack containing at least four test tubes, one boiling tube and one measuring cylinder. We'll be also using a spatula to scoop a solid end. Is uh, taking a spatula full of solid N. That is a spatula full of solid N. That's very good. So a spatula full of solid N. You put it into a test tube. Then from there, you add, you measure about five cubic centimeter of distilled water using measuring cylinder. So that is about five cubic centimeter of distilled water. Then we add into the test tube containing solid N. Then from there you shake this mixture. So now you can see that's now the observation. So now what is the observation? Now, after making the observation, we divide the solution into four portions. Always take a small portion. That's good, so that's the first portion. That is the second portion. And that is the third portion. And finally, we have the fourth portion. Now, this, the second procedure, we take the first portion. Yes. So that's the first portion. We add three drops of sodium hydroxide till in excess. So that is sodium hydroxide, one drop. That's very good. So you see now the observation? You can see a white precipitate there. Then we add now excess sodium hydroxide. Yeah. Now, for sodium hydroxide, when added drop is still in excess, the observation obtained is a white precipitate is formed, which is insoluble in excess. 
the inference or the cations present are only two. That is either calcium or magnesium ions present. Now, the third procedure, we take now the second portion and we add aqueous ammonia, dropwise still in excess. So add aqueous ammonia. So that is aqueous ammonia. So now you can see on you can see dropwise, you get a white precipitate. Now we add excess aqueous ammonia. So now you can see when added when aqueous ammonia was added dropwise still in excess, uh, you get a white precipitate which is insoluble in excess. A white precipitate insoluble in excess. A white precipitate means Still, there is presence of white precipitate in that uh, sample. The cation present is uh, three. That is magnesium, aluminium, or lead ions present. But when we are analyzing, the rule is don't mention a new cation or a new ion that has not been mentioned. So for our case, we had calcium or magnesium. So you see now, aluminium and lead are new. So don't mention that. So under ammonia, the inference now we are supposed to write is magnesium ions present. Why? Because this test is usually based on elimination method. Now, procedure four now, to the third portion, you add three drops of potassium iodide. Yeah, that's very good. So get the third portion. And then you add three drops of potassium iodide. So you see now the observation. Now when you add potassium iodide, observation that you are supposed to get is either yellow precipitate or no yellow precipitate. So here, the observation we obtained is uh, no yellow precipitate is formed. Now remember, potassium iodide only tests uh, lead ions. So if you get yellow precipitate, we say lead ions present. If you get no yellow precipitate, we say lead ions absent. Lead ions absent. Now procedure five, yeah. we take the fourth portion and we add three drops of barium nitrate. So that's barium nitrate. Now remember the procedure is you add three drops of barium nitrate followed by five drops of nitric acid. So when yeah, that's good. So now we begin with three drops of barium nitrate. So now you can see the observation is a white precipitate is formed. Now, we add now five drops of dilute nitric acid. That's very good. Now remember, when you are adding barium nitrate followed by dilute nitric acid, the observation that you are supposed to get is either white precipitate is formed soluble in the acid or insoluble in the acid. Soluble in the acid means you get a colorless solution. But for our case here, you can see still the white precipitate is there. So the observation is white precipitate is formed, which is insoluble in the acid. Now, this is the observation as well as the inferences. As well as the inferences.